everybody. Um, as I said, I'm putting the zombie makeup and the black and white makeup on. And since there's zombie run next week, they're doing a promotional video. And so I'll demonstrate on Bell here uh, the zombie makeup and how you're going to do it. First of all, the zombie makeup is going to be done with the hydro sponge. So you're going to be using the water, uh, water base. And you're going to be using the Color Cake Makeup from Ben Nye. And this is the Blythe Spirit. And that goes for all zombie makeup. You're going to be using the Blythe Spirit. Now you want to get full coverage. You want enough water that you're getting on the sponge. Putting the makeup on the sponge. So again, as with everything, and this stuff it tends to go on pretty smoothly. Okay. Want to get the eyebrow, get to their bed. Try not to make it too wet, but you want to make sure that you get enough on the enough of the makeup on the face. So remember, you're do only doing one side of the face. But for this, because they're doing a promotional video, I'm going to do the whole face. But I'll only um, highlight on one side. So this stuff actually goes on pretty quickly. You just need to make sure that it's not too... Not too wet and streaky. Again, this comes off with a bit of hot water and soap, so it actually doesn't take much. It's not like with the cream makeup where you have to have a makeup sponge or makeup remover. You want to make sure that's thick because the skin, if you think about it, is dead. And on Belle, I'm going to get all the way down her neckline because, again, they're doing this promotional video, but when you're, you guys are doing it, you'll only do down to the jawline. Makeup gets on your clothes, it's okay, it'll wash off. It's so okay, it's not really good. Not my mic. Now I have pretty full coverage. We want to make sure that all of the underlying tone of the actual skin is covered so that you don't see any yeah. red. Okay, so Bill, if you can look at the screen for me. So a lot of the makeup is dead. Uh, the skin is deadened, which is what you want. You want to make sure the skin is deadened. And make sure that you clean out your sponge. So make sure that you put uh, in fresh water, clean out your sponge. Okay, now that the skin is dead, um, you want to get either the monster wheel or the zombie wheel. 
So this one, you'll notice, is a monster wheel. And this one right here is a zombie wheel. Now this is where you'll get a, instead of um, the wedge sponge, you're going to be using a stipple sponge, but we don't have a stipple sponge for some reason right now. So you are going to take, and hopefully you remember to bring it, your half sock, taking your half sock and you're going to use the makeup brush to create the lines on the skin. So I usually start with the yellow and we want to create the lines of the broken blood vessels, Purple, you want to get around the mouth. Remember, it doesn't have to be pretty because they're dead. So you notice that I'll use the yellow, the red, the green, the, it looks like brown, but it's kind of maroon, the purple, and then the gray in the middle. Now, if you, if we have the stipple sponge here, which we don't for some reason, I have no idea why, we'd also be stippling the skin, and I'll demonstrate that in class on Monday. Um, the stippling of the skin just makes it look like the pores are all um, caked in and uh, opening up. And as always, make sure you know where the lid is so you can put the lid back on top of I want to just blend those in, and then we're going to be using the liquid latex. Where's the liquid latex at? Be careful. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Okay, the liquid latex looks like this. It's also, uh, sometimes it says wrinkle stipple on it, and you always want to make sure that it's nice and tight on when you take it off, that you just use a little bit, and the stuff smells.
mess with everything a little bit, it's going to go a long, long way. So you're going to let that dry for a little bit, all right? We're then going to go over to the charcoal, all right? This is a powder, so you have to be very careful with it. And you're just going to take a little bit of the powder, very teeny tiny bit. And you're going to take one of the blush brushes, and you want to get in the eye socket to make them uh, hollowed out. So go ahead and take it. Also going to bring it onto the cheeks, but we need to start on this because we don't want it to dry too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger to make the liquid latex tacky. I want to make it look like the skin is starting to come loose from her face. And again, a little bit of charcoal. Go ahead and take that. And we just want to make it look like the skin is starting to fade away. Now we have the liquid latex here and it still kind of looks like a big white splotch. And what I want to do is I want to tear the liquid latex away from the skin a little bit. So that way we can create the look that it's the mus we can see the muscle underneath the skin. going to add a little bit more of the liquid latex. The liquid, oh, there you go. May I use that paper there? Thank Again, using your finger to make the liquid latex tacky. So, um, makeup and everything, uh, are you going to have people come in and do the makeup and stuff on Saturday? Yes. Yes. I at, uh, we are doing makeup at 4 o'clock. Yes. So you know, you know this? Yes, I know okay, this. Okay. Yeah, I told Mr. Bummer that. Okay. I'm actually, you're actually now on my makeup video. Thank you very much. Okay, oh, so. I, I apologize. Hi. You'll see right here that I'm starting to pull the liquid latex away from the skin. So that way I can put some blood and guts underneath. With the Night of the Living Dead right now, we're doing it all in black and white. So the red is represented by black. But since we are not doing that uh, in class, you are actually going to go back to the zombie color wheel and the, uh, the brush and you're going to get a little bit of red on this area because you want to make it look like you can see the muscle underneath the skin. 